With over 80 million people to feed and not enough arable land to do it, Egypt is a major importer of food and agricultural products. Both chilled meat products and live animals are required to meet Egypt's need for protein. And Australia is one of many countries supplying both boxed product and live animals to the Egyptian market. Once banned due to poor animal welfare standards in Egyptian abattoirs, the Australian trade resumed in 2010 following the opening of a state-of-the-art facility that guarantees the well-being and humane treatment of Australian cattle. The high welfare standards on Australian farms and onboard vessels continues, but it's when the cattle arrive in Egypt where there have been vast changes. All Australian cattle now arrive at the port of Sokna and enter into a closed system an integrated port, feedlot and abattoir. Richard Leach, a dairy farmer's son from New Zealand, has spent most of his life working with cattle and he manages this facility. You've got 100% control, the animals don't leave your sight. From the time they leave the ship to the time they get to the feedlot, you've got them under your control. The closed system reaches all the way to the ship via an 800 metre purpose-built walkway. The ship is berthed exactly where this container ship is, normally a little bit further forward. Then it's 800 metres from the, from the quayside then, up the walkway to the feedlot. They, they don't gallop, they don't go any faster than just a normal curious walk they have in the bush. The feedlot holds 25,000 cattle. Each pen is 50% shaded and the shades are lined so that every part of the floor gets sun at some time during the day to keep it dry. Egypt's a perfect climate for feedlotting. Cattle is really low humidity where we are. We don't have our annual rainfall is about seven mils. So we really, we don't have a mud problem. It was built to this standard. This standard is not Australian standard, it's my standards. And so we're commercially motivated to get it right. It's got to be calm, peaceful, comfort, you know. They're my babies. 